Welcome, guys. We're going to light it up like the title of today's program. Lighting it up, where we're going to be talking about things that are bioluminescent in nature. But before we start talking about that, grab the bag that has a pipe cleaner or a cup. A whole bunch of little foam stuff. There's even a Q-tip craft stick among a whole bunch of things. That is the bag to grab. Also from inside of your envelope, you should find an anglerfish. Huh. It's a little paper of an anglerfish. Not included are these things that we do need. A cup of water, a tablespoon, and a pair of scissors. And once you got all that, let's get started with our high touch, high tech program today. First and foremost, can you guys think of some things that can light up? Yeah, of course, we got things like a flashlight, a TV, your phone, a lamp, even the sun, right? The stars and me. Oh, no, no, I don't light up. But there are a lot of animals and living organisms that do light up. And that amazing phenomena is what we call bioluminescence. Yes, called bioluminescence, which is the production and emission of light by these living organisms. And they do it for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's to kind of lure the prey in, come closer. Or sometimes it's to trick or defend themselves against predators that are trying to eat them, right? So that's why they light up. Or sometimes it's to attract the mate, uh, attract the mate, or just to communicate. Mm -hmm. So they do it for a number of different reasons. And there's tons of different uh, species of organisms that you know, are bioluminescent, like deep down, deep down in the ocean. We got animals like anglerfish or even squid and jellyfish. Those are all bioluminescent. And even on top of the water, we got uh, organisms like bacteria, even certain types of insects and even fungi. Yeah, there's many different bioluminescent organisms. And the most common example of these bioluminescent organisms are fireflies. You've probably heard of a firefly before. Sometimes we call them the lightning bug. <laughs> Not because they produce lightning or anything like that, but it's just because they light up. Yeah, they light up. So how do they light up? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, the thing is, they have a special organ inside of their body that's able to light up because of a chemical reaction. So how does that work? Well, in that special organ, they have a special thing called luciferin. And when that mixes together with the oxygen, they light up. And they do this, of course, as grown up bugs, right? They light up usually to attract mates, but they don't only do it when they're adults. They even do it when they're little baby bugs, little baby larvae. Even the larvae already start and begin to light up because they have that luciferin chemical inside of them. And of course, there are about 2,000 different species of these fireflies, but we kind of can't see it west of Kansas. But we are going to see it right now because we're going to make ourselves a firefly right now. So let's make our lightning bug the firefly with these materials. Grab yourself the Q-tip and these six pieces of foam have a little sticker right on it too. And there's also the glow in the dark uh, googly eyes and this circular black sticker with the white paper on the back. Um, and then there's a little tube with a red top on top and this bag of glue, as you can see here, and the two wing shaped looking things. Then let's make our firefly. Now, what I like to do first is I like to first put on the head and the eyeballs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just grab the circular looking thing and this white part is actually a piece of paper that's keeping the adhesive from sticking to anything else. So I like to just peel that off and leave 
it on the table, not the sticky side, but the side that is non-sticky on the table and just take the tube and push it down as in the middle as you can, like that. See, and push it really hard. That way it sticks. See? Ta-da! Okay, then what I would like to do next is put on the eyeballs. Okay, so the way you do this is you peel off this sticker first. Okay, and then you can see already there's some circles and then you could finally pop it out. Ta-da! And with that, just take one at a time and just pop it right onto the black part like so. There's one and here's two. Just pop it out, take it off, put it next to that one. Got two little eyeballs for our firefly. But a firefly is an insect and all insects have six legs. Okay, so we're gonna take our foam, that will be our legs, and we're gonna put one on one side, one on the other, one on one side, one on the other, like that, okay? So all you need to do is just peel off the little sticker and try to make it symmetrical to your eyes, right? So not really like this, not like that, not this way, right? Side by side, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. One on one side, and same thing, peel off the sticker. Hey, get off! And one, not like this, right? Not over here, the, the other direction of what I have. But as you can see, it's kind of in the same way, same direction that the eyes are going as well. So those are two legs that are kind of really wonky, but anyway, uh, we're gonna put on another two right behind that. Okay, so if I hold it up like this, you could see there's one, and I'm gonna put one on the other side. Peel off the sticker. And another one. So now we have four and two more to make six. Right behind there. Boop. And last one. And there we go. We got six pieces of foam that are our legs. And we're not completely done. Okay, um, next, before we put on the wings, let's actually give this a good shake. And the reason why is because we wanna mix the chemicals in there a little bit. And the way I do it is I don't really shake it hard because the water doesn't move normally. It doesn't move as fast as normal water does. So I kinda just put it back and forth, upside down and right side up, just a little bit slower than usual so you can see the bubble going up and down. So that kind of mixes the chemicals around so that this would actually glow in the dark just like a real firefly. Because remember, the real fireflies are able to light up in the dark because they have that special organ that has the chemical reaction going on with the luciferin and the oxygen, right? So it's kind of similar to what we have here, okay? So once you do that, then we're finally going to put on our wings because fireflies can fly, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we are going to get the glue and we are going to open up the glue and take the Q-tip and we don't need that much, just a little bit for our wings. Okay, dip it in. Take some, and you could do it either on here or on the wing. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on the firefly, just a little bit above the, the legs and the little tube there too. And actually, I actually do both, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. All right, and then take your wings and put them on top, push it down. Now try not to move it too much because it's not dry yet. But there we've got our wings. And one thing I totally forgot, guys, they also have antennas. All right, so we're gonna use an antenna here. Inside of your bag, there was a tiny, 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 there's two pipe cleaners, but there's a tiny one, a small little one, that's gonna be our antenna. This is one, and there's two. I missed the other one. Whoopsie doozies. Now with these two pipe cleaners, they're gonna be the antennas, and how are we gonna do that? Well, now that it's already stuck onto there, the back is still very sticky, right? So guess what? All we need to do is just take that antenna and stick it onto there, okay? And once I push it on, 
There's one, see? And then take the other one, do the same thing on the other side. Push it right on, and... Ta -da! We got our firefly with the two glow-in-the-dark eyes, also the antenna, our wings. How many legs? Six legs, but most importantly, it has that special organ uh, that is on it that is able to glow in the dark. If yours doesn't glow in the dark, then just kind of, again, put it back and forth. And then right before you go to bed, right, keep this next to you. Maybe even put it next to a light before you turn it off. Turn off the lights and then you'll be able to see it glow in the dark just like a real firefly. Most of these bioluminescent creatures are found deep down in the depths of the ocean, so far that the sunbeams of the sun can't reach it. Yeah, deep down in the ocean where the sun can't get to it usually is where you can find these bioluminescent creatures. And scientists think that about 90% of all of those organisms that live deep in the ocean are bioluminescent. That's a lot, 90%. That's most of them, right? And there are more than 200 different types of anglerfish that live in the darkest and the deepest part of the ocean that we call the Midnight Zone. And these anglerfish, they have something right on the very top of their head called the lure. And you know what it does? It lights up. Well, how does it light up? Well, inside of the lure, they have some bioluminescent bacteria in their bodies to help them to light up. But what it does is it lures other fish to come closer. They're mesmerized by the light. And if they come too close, then... Yeah, they eat their fish. Well, that wasn't really a fish, but let's make an angler fish. And let's make our angler fish. Let's grab these parts, a pair of scissors, the picture of the angler fish that came from our envelope, and the black pipe cleaner that we have here. And then there are some stickers. There are three big ones and then five little tiny ones, or however many you have, but there are big ones and small little glow-in-the-dark stickers. And then we have also glow-in-the-dark beads, okay? So once you have all of those, the first thing we want to do is first, if you want to, uh, I prefer to do it, cut up your fish, your angler fish, like this. Ta-da! Now, just to save us time, of course, I, I just I just did this instead of, you know, cutting it myself. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so you, once you cut it up, something like that, you don't need your scissors anymore. Then, what you want to do next is we want to take our pipe cleaner and just put it through the hole, like so. And then just kind of have them meet together right at the top together like this and bend the bottom so that it, it stays as if you could hold it, right? And then just twist it. Just start twisting that pipe cleaner from the bottom to the top. And this will make it so that it's wide enough for the beads to not wiggle around so much. Because after you do that, then we're just going to take our beads and put them right through the top, right? Of course, what I'm doing is I'm keeping these not away from each other like that because you can't put the beads in. Make sure that they're together like that so you can come right through just like how you see. And there is one of my beads and then we're gonna take another one, put it right through the top. So here's two and we're gonna eventually actually put them all at the tip to kind of replicate the lure of our anglerfish. So here's number three, and finally, number four. So instead of putting it all the way to the bottom, we're gonna put it right at the front so they can learn, oh, come here, fishy, fishy. Come closer, I know you like the light. And remember, that's when they come in, they're like, wow, oh, that's so amazing. If they come too close, they're gonna get eaten by our angler fish. Then, what do we use our stickers for? This is for your imagination, right? Maybe you could use them as eyes. You could put them around the fish, wherever you want to put on your angler fish. But what I'm gonna do with my first big sticker is I'm gonna have that kind of like the eyeballs, I guess. See? <laughs> and then I can use the little ones, maybe put them around. Um, let me put this one maybe down over here. Try the corners. 
and well, that one didn't stick. But anyway, um, maybe over. Oh, this one's not sticking. Hold on, let's move it to the side just for a second. And yeah, just go ahead and take all the stickers and put them in different areas, maybe over here. And if they're not too sticky, um, for some reason, you could always use the glue to, to, to keep it on. Like some of them, mine are not sticking, but I'm not too worried. Okay, and then maybe over here. See, I'm putting on the corners, and I still got two more of the big ones. Maybe I'm gonna put it right over in the back too, and maybe on the top. I don't know, you can do it however you want. And uh, here's my angler fish, the reason why, whoop, that's okay. The uh, reason why it is the angler fish is because it's got these glow in the dark things. And how does it glow again? Well, it has those bioluminescent bacteria, not just at the lure, <laughs> but at the rest of the body. As you can see, all of mine are falling apart. Don't worry about it. Just put a little bit of glue, stick it back on, and you got yourself your bioluminescent angler fish. Now let's take a look at another amazing sea creature, the jellyfish. <laughs> What's so amazing about them? Well, they are the oldest multicellular organism. Oldest? What do you mean by oldest? Older than the dinosaurs. What? Yeah, and they're still around. That's what's so amazing about them. But guess what? Jellyfish are not fish. Yeah, they don't have a backbone just like most fish. They, they don't, I don't know what happened. What happened to my back? <laughs> yeah, they don't have a backbone. But they're found everywhere at every type of ocean. And they eat little small things like small plants, little fish, and even shrimp. But how do they do that? Well, they have a cool little tentacle, but it's poisonous and it could stun their prey so they stay still and then they eat them. And these jellyfish, also, they're mostly filled with water. Up to about 85% to 98% amount of water. They're basically water. Yeah, that's really what's really cool about them. But even more amazing than this, more than half of the jellyfish are bioluminescent. Wow, meaning they glow. All right, so you know what? Now we're gonna make ourselves our very own jellyfish that also is bioluminescent. Then let's do the jellyfish experiment. We got ourselves here a pipette, the tablespoon, also our cup of water. Now I said cup of water, but technically what I should have said is a measuring cup of water. So get yourself a measuring cup and put water in it and put it inside of the cup, just about this much, okay? And then this four ounce cup was already included uh, in the bag, and then there's a bag of powder as well, which is the borax, uh, craft stick, and your uh, glue that we used earlier in our first experiment, and also our pair of scissors, okay? So again, this here is a measuring cup of water, just about. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three tablespoons of this water and put it inside our bag of glue. All right, so let's do that. Let's open this up and let's grab some of the water three times, right? One and two and three. All right, so after you do those three, what I like to do is I like to zip it up and mix that up as well as you can. What, what you could do is you could just take your fingers and mix it up like this, or you could just put it back and forth. But of course, make sure it's zipped up, right? So you don't spill it everywhere. We got ourselves a glue. And there's two different colors in there. The yellowish color that you have is a glow in the dark material that we put in there to make this glue, which is the white part, really glow in the dark, okay? so. Do whatever you can to really mix it nice and well together. So not only one part is glowing, but all of the glue is gonna glow in the dark. All right, then after you do that, keep it closed, okay? With your cup of water, take out the measuring spoon, take your borax and put it in there. All right. There we go. 
put all of it. And once you do that, take your craft stick, mix it up. Okay, so that the borax is nice and in the water. Okay, mix it up pretty well. We really want it to be saturated as possible. All right. Okay, just let that sit for a little bit. And next, we're going to take our glue and put it inside of the bag. Now, we could do it two ways. We could cut the edge, okay, or we could just open it up and pour it in now that it's a lot more watery, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the edge right over here. Okay, make sure that the water and the glue is not there so when you cut it, it doesn't just spill out, right? So turn it so that it's to the side and you got a corner that has no glue on it. And as you can see, I'm squeezing the edge of it as usual and then just cut a little piece, okay? And then once you turn it, make sure it's over the other cup so that it nice and easily comes out into there, just like that. There you go. So now we got our our glue that's mixed together with the, um, the glow in the dark chemical and a little bit of water. And now we're gonna mix these two together. But before we start anything, let's just mix the borax and the water just a little bit more, okay? Just a little bit more. And that is good. So we're gonna take little bits of the borax water solution here into our glue so that it could start to do a, a little tiny um, reaction together. Now, if you do still see a little bit of the powder on the bottom, don't panic. It's, it's absolutely okay that there is a little bit of powder in there, so don't spend forever just trying to mix the borax. Okay, but if there's some on the bottom, that's okay. So there are two ways that we could do it, which is we could use the pipette to take some of the water into there, or you could still use your spoon and take it and scoop it into there while you mix it, okay? So we want to do this little a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the, um, the water and the borax solution with my pipette, right? The way we use this, again, squeeze it, let it go, squirt it in there and mix it just like that, okay? Just for like about five to 10 seconds. Once you do that, we're gonna do it again. Take another squirt, put it in there, mix it again. And guess what? We're gonna do it again. Take another squirt, put it in there, and mix it again. But again, you don't just have to only use the pipette, you could also use the, um, the spoon. Okay, but one thing as you're doing this is try not to take your spoon, your your stick out yet because it's still sticky. It's still very, very sticky. And we don't want that to spill all over the table yet. So again, so far we've only shown with the pipette. Now let's take a tablespoon of this borax solution and put it on there and let's mix it up. Now earlier I was just turning it like this. What you could do is you could actually twist it. You see how I'm twisting it? That way it coats almost all of the parts nice and evenly around our, our glue that has this borax. And then, after you do it for about five seconds, keep on putting more of this borax and water solution. The more of this you, the, that you put in there, the better it's gonna be, the more um, solid it's gonna start to turn. Because what we're really doing here is we're taking two liquids, the glue and this water and borax, and we're turning it into something hard, like a solid, as you could see. Okay, about five seconds, do another scoop. And do it again, All right? Now, of course, don't do so much that it's gonna you know, overflow inside of this cup, but once there's a good amount of borax, then it should start really reacting to that borax, okay? And just do a little bit longer, a little bit longer, so you can see. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder, look at that. I think I could just put a little bit more of the borax and then that'll be it. Remember, you don't want it so much that it's gonna overflow and spill everywhere. We don't want that to, to, to happen. Okay, but that should be good enough. Now, if you really want to be safe about this, leave your glue in there for a little bit longer. But once it starts to harden, you could actually touch it and you'll feel that it's not sticky at all. If it feels sticky, leave it back in the borax, okay? Because the borax will solidify any part that is sticky, okay? But once it's kind of done, then what you could do is you could take it out, take it off the stick, 
Uh, let me just leave the stick right here. And take it off. And if you still have some that are kind of separated from each other like this, the beauty about it is this is glue. Just put it together, squeeze it together just a little bit and it should stick together because it's still glue. Now remember, if it's too sticky on your hands, put it back inside. But right now mine is not really that sticky and so I don't really need to put it back inside. But if you feel like, oh, it's a little bit sticky on my hand, I got glue all over my fingers, then put it back inside. But already by just kind of holding it like this, those two pieces were able to merge together. And what you could do is you could make it shape a little bit into a jellyfish. And another thing that we shouldn't do is don't squeeze it so that it comes out of your fingers because it's not completely racked all over and you're gonna get glue all over in between your fingers. So just kind of put it back and forth. You see how I'm doing this? You're like, powder cake, powder cake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can, right? So. Uh, just put it back and forth in your hand and again if it's too sticky it feels a little bit too sticky Just put it back inside let it soak in that borax and if you feel it's now ready Then put it back in your hand and put it back and forth, but you got yourself something that is a little bit You know jelly like a jellyfish beep, 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 beep. But what's even cooler about this is just like more than half of the jellyfish they're bioluminescent same thing with this, this will glow in the dark, which would be pretty cool. So the next time you're about to go to bed, keep this guy out as well as your angler fish and your firefly. And you got three really awesome stuff that are able to glow in the dark, right? Just like the real deal, right? And word of warning to the parents, try to have your kids play with this on any sort of solid surface. It's not really anything cloth, Related, okay, because it's gonna kind of seep into it and we don't really want that to happen. So if they want to play with it, maybe on like a hard floor or a, on tile or something like that, that should be good. And there you go. So today we did a whole bunch of really awesome stuff with these bioluminescent living organisms, right? We got our jellyfish, we have our bioluminescent firefly and our anglerfish as we could see here, right? Pretty awesome stuff that we're able to do and I had a lot of fun, I hope you guys too, and until next time boys and girls, let's light it up. <laughs>